got a collection of people together, so it was parents, fellow workers, so kind of workers doing groups, it was social services, people, it was all the heads from the schools, um, and we formed a steering group who kind of made the application for the, for the programme. Some people weren't sure what it was, and, and, and I suppose were a bit, a bit anxious about it. What we did is then consulted parents about what other services they wanted. So they wanted things like counselling, they wanted behaviour courses, about sleep, about food. So that's what we, that's how we initially started the training. Initially we did it through the groups um, and then we actually developed them into proper courses. We consult with parents and we change what we offer depending on what the needs are of the local community. Shawstad Sam, he's so cool. He lives in Seacroft, he's no fool. From dawn to dusk, he struts his stuff. From Alston Lane to Ascot Hill, through Brooklyn's close to Foundry Mill. Shawstad Sam is here to see how wonderful your life can be. We all live in this cul de sac here. Check from Carly. Normally, like, boys play football and girls like to play on stands or something like that. Well, I like best around here because you don't like get. You, there's no robbers around here. You don't, you don't, your house don't get robbed. So mm -hmm. I like, like the amount of children they used to play with and all that. Yeah, but I like Joe to play with. I've I lived here about a now six years. I lived up there. I've lived here since I was a baby, so that's about nine, ten years. So I lived on other streets, and now I'm on the yeah. street. For fun, they like to go like and yeah. um, uh, boys like to go like get go on bike ride. We're from West Seacroft. I like it round here because I've got loads of friends. Basically, she's come for de-stressing because she wants to give up smoking because it's a kind of support, really. Um, just deep breath in for me and exhale. OK, how's that? I got interested in um, using acupuncture for pain relief. And I realised, obviously, it wasn't just good for pain, it's good for other things, and it's very holistic in that it, it works on a psychosocial level as well as it's good for depression, it's good for sort of supporting your general mental outlook. Very different set of patients to what I would normally do, because obviously acupuncture is normally for people who are privileged enough to have, you know, the money to go and purchase it. And here, you know, generally speaking, it's women who would never be able to access that normally. Job satisfaction, <laughs> absolutely. Right, this is a song called Bananas. Bananas grow in the African West. working as a chambermaid. One of the staff says, oh, why don't you go for a job? And I didn't really have a lot of confidence, so I left it for six months. So I thought, oh, quite low self-esteem and everything at the beginning. Um, and then when I finally did go for it, interview six months later, I got the job as a childcare worker. There's so many things that I've gone through since Shaw started, but anything that I've ever gone through, I know that I've always had support here. And if, if I, I do think if I've got involved with Shaw Start when I did, I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now and where I am for themselves, do you know what I mean? I'm really grateful for it. We make a difference. What's your name? Diane. Are you okay, Diane? I'm fine, how? Thank you, are you? What are you doing today? Childminding and having fun. Do you think Seacroft has changed and it's, how it's, it's changed? changed a lot? It's changed a lot. Have you seen the rain? I kind of know where it is, but I'm not quite sure where it is. It's disgusting. Is it? Why yeah, it's, it's horrible people have been messing up the rain next to Grange Farm Primary School yeah. and it's really mean and people have been burning grass and stuff. Tell me about your memories about Seacroft. I remember, oh, ooh, let me think now, playing down near the Beck, making swings on trees and playing duffs over the Beck so we didn't fall in. We used to have to dare people to walk across the pipe and if you fell in, you had to do a, a forfeit. Ooh. New Lives Group. It's working with, with families with children pre-birth up to a year, but we do have older children that come as well. Supporting the parents, giving them 
good advice when the child's young. Parents have got issues and problems. Sometimes they don't know who to turn to. Here, they know that Sue will come into a group. They can either just drop in and see if she's around, or they can make an appointment to come and see her. And she'll even go out into homes and visit. I just thought everyone was a show start worker. I just couldn't believe how many other professionals were like actually part of the team. And it's not just about childcare or going out, it's just so much more. At school we were thinking about, you know, doing something about the rain. A newspaper was three years old and they haven't and the council accepted with money of these people to help the rain get better. Right. But they but we think they're not going to fix it. We think in school it's because it might get wrecked again. We um, help parents if they need any help with kiddies in and out of pool, getting changed and stuff. They come along on a Wednesday afternoon and they can go out pool with the parents and Billy, along with other workers, work with the children in order to, you know, give them swimming skills. I'm here with my son Thomas. Uh, he's been coming for 18 months and he's gone from being petrified of the water to really loving it and enjoying himself. Billy's he's taught Thomas how to, how to be confident in water and shown me how to interact with him. He started off, he wouldn't even get in the water, so Billy just got a watering can and started splashing it about to sort of encourage him to get used to the water. And now he's in big pool with his armbands. He's got his duckling one, <laughs> so, but it, it really, he was really proud of it. He's got it on his bedroom wall. You want him to be confident and that's precisely what you've done for us. We're just a part of the community. People see us out, they'll chat to us. We try, as soon as a new family comes into the area, um, try and go and visit that family, um, see if there's anything they need, encourage them to come out to join groups and just really to get to know the community. Sports on, but because of all older ones, they've been like um, roofing, abusing right. it and everything. And that roof and so that. there's no way they've banned it. So they banned it. What would you do to improve sea craft? What would you do? I would just, you know, do no tipping rubbish everywhere. Maybe you could get a few of your friends to go around, you know, after after school, and maybe you know pick things up and make it tidy. We've done that, and we went the next day. You know what happened? It's all messy again. Oh, well then, your group will have to go around and fix it all again. The more they see it tidy, the more they'll keep it tidy. I worked voluntary for over a year, and it's about four, just over four years now. Bernard and Sue came along to my house and <laughs> delivered leaflets and things. I thought they were blagging me really. I thought it was going to be one of them schemes where it comes and it goes quicker than it's being, you know, up and started. For every group that they passed me, it were all like mums and tots and everything, so. And then he said, well, you know, what about boxing and fitness and stuff? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll have a go at that. And that's how I initially got involved, because he came back and said, right, we've set it up. So, I had to go then. <laughs> and I did, and that's where it all stemmed off. I started doing boxing and exercise with Billy. And then moved on to our, you know, that voluntary, and then went on to outreach and things and started working for them. I think it's got a great benefit to the community, yeah, I think. You've, you've only got to look in areas of seek off the amount of people that actually attend the groups to, to see how beneficial it is. The government um, have said that they want a, a children's centre in, in all areas of, of the country. Leeds is aiming to have one in every area by 2010 and the idea is that the local show start programmes services merge into the, the new children centres. You could maybe possibly have a health visitor linked to a centre and a, a midwife and a social worker and the idea is that they're almost a one-stop shop. We're fully booked up all the time and we're about to bring a new system in to ensure people can get fair access to appointments and we're opening up to a larger area now, not just Seacroft, so we'll wait and see just how busy it gets from that. Um, but people love it and it works. <laughs>